Hi y'all, welcome back to channel. In this video, it enables you to understand the Merge Action Manager menu in Ode 15 Data Cleaning module. One of the essential spaces for data cleaning your document in a business is the Ode 15 Data Cleaning module. An ERP system resolve all your data duplication regarding customer details, contact, documents, etc. So let's discuss a detailed analysis of Merge Action Manager in the Data Cleaning Dashboard. Here the configuration feature of the data cleaning dashboard consists of various menus including the merge action manager, field cleaning and the deduplication role. We can choose the merge action manager menu from the configuration tab of the Odo 15 data cleaning dashboard and we can access all the created models in this window. Here we can access the details including the model type, transient model, uh, model description and more aspect and by clicking on the specific model title you will get a detailed view of each merge action manager created on the screen. Here the three dot button at the right end of the window as is due to add the custom field into the merge action manager window and the user can develop a new merge action manager for a model using this create icon. So here we can configure an already created model. Here we can add the description of the model inside the model description field. Later we can enter the model name in the model section. And inside the order field we can apply the SQL expression for ordering the records in the model. The SQL means structured query language and the SQL expression depict the combining of more values. And here the user can also enable the transient model and activate the mail thread. This is to support messages and notification for your model. Moreover, we can support the activities of the model by enabling the mail activity field. The activation of mail blacklist support the blacklist of your model. And here we can add a particular field name for your model by clicking on this add a line option available here. So a new window will appear before you when selecting the add a line option. Here the user can add the field name or label and select the field type from the drop down section. And you can add the message for your specific field name inside the help field. Here the user can add the field name or label and select the field type from the drop down section. And here the user can add the message for a specific field name inside the field help field. And below the properties tab of the field window you can access the base properties and the advanced properties. Here we can enable the base properties for your model such as required, read only and in text. Then the user can activate the stored field whether the value is stored in the database and copied field enables when the value is copied at the time of duplicating a record. Every modification is done to a particular field track tickling by enabling the order tracking and it is used to order the tracking values. Then here we can uh, blacklist the specific field for web forms by activating the blacklisted in web forms. In the advanced property section, you can choose the serialization field that ensures to store the structure of the serialization field instead of its database. After the creation, we cannot change it and a dot separated list of field name enters the related field. Here the dependencies and the compute field define the computed field and the current field de uh, depends on the list inside the dependency section. In this compute method, we can enter the field name separated by comma such as name, size, etc. And the user can add a code to compute the field values inside the compute field. And it is in the Python code format to set the records. Then here we can select a group name uh, for the field name from the access right tab. By selecting this add a line option, the user can choose a group name from the new window. At last, click on the save and close icon to create your field name. 
In this way, we can develop various field name for a model from the field tab. Later, we can add the name and the group for your model inside the axis right tab. After selecting the add a line option, a space bar will open up and here we can add the name and you can add the value here. Later, you can choose the specific group for your name from the drop down list. Then here you can enable uh, the accessibility for reading, writing, creating and deleting from the access right tab. And the user can add the uh, information about the model inside the node tab and the forms related uh, setting enables it easily with the website forms. So here we can activate the form window feature for your model by activating the allowed to use in the forms field. And here the form action label is set inside the label for form action. Then here we can specify the field that contains meta and custom form data from the field for custom form data field. After all, uh, adding all the details, you can select the save icon to import your new model. So you can formulate the merging for your model by choosing the enable merge option in the merge action manager window. So the created model will be viewable in the merge action managers window along with other models. So let's check how it works. For that we need to go to the sales module. From here we can choose two quotations and when we comes to the action here we can see the option merge so click on that. And here we have the option to merge it and a confirmation window will appear so click on the ok icon. So here we can see we see uh, two sales orders are merged into one. So the user can configure the access right nodes field name and the website forms in the merge action manager on the auto 15 data cleaning module. The merge action manager menu on the configuration feature provides all the details of several models in your database. The merging of data models become easy with the advanced peculiarities of the auto 15 data cleaning module. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.